going on guys Justin Williams here with Dirt Time Adventures and Trailblazer Survival School and today we are doing another episode of Foragers Find and today we have the grapevine and uh, I just love this plant especially because of all these delicious little fruit that are in it called muscadines and I am literally buried in this tree right now I pulled it down out of the tree it came down on top of me and I got all these beautiful delicious succulent muscadines now these suckers are big I mean look at those bad boys huge I mean here's some of the big old wild muscadines I mean they are massive so let's uh, get out of this tree, out of this bush, this vine, and talk about this amazing plant called the muscadine, or the grapevine. Okay, whew, glad to be out of that. As you can see here in the background, we have the wiki up going up, and so I encourage you guys to stay tuned. We're going to be shooting video and uh, as we build it, and be releasing that probably in the next week. And but today, Forager's Fine, we are looking at the grapevine, which has these amazing little fruits called muscadines. And I uh, hope you don't mind, I'm going to eat one because they're delicious. Oh man, that one was so juicy. Mmm. Holy cow. You got to watch out, they got seeds. Man, that's good. But anyways, so... I'm going to leave these on the bush so they don't begin to, I don't want to say die, but um, they'll begin to uh, wither away. And I want to make sure I take home some to my wife tonight um, because she's been getting frustrated with me that I've been eating them and posting pictures of them and not bringing her home any. But moving on to the plant and its uses and how valuable it is and why it's definitely one of my favorites, especially in the summertime when I can get the fruit. Um, the plant itself... One of the primary uses that I have for it is cordage. Um, it has an extremely high tensile strength. Um, I was swinging on a vine that was this thick uh, right here, um, full body weight, just swinging Tarzan style trying to get it out of a tree yesterday because I'm actually using the vineage to wrap my wiki up so that I'm not having to use as many poles. Um, the poles, if you don't have any type of vineage, there's nothing for the the stuff to thatch to so um, wrapping it in grapevine intertwining it so that I can thatch to it without using as many poles um, so the tensile strength is amazing it's an excellent cordage uh, also a few other things that people may not be aware of other than the fruit is that the leaves are edible I like to go with young shoots here's a little one right here um, little young shoots and they pretty much to identify it it's a viney plant with this little jagged heart. That's what I call it, the jagged heart. Um, and these smaller ones, you can eat them raw. Uh, they don't taste very good raw. They're not one of my favorite wild edibles, period. Um, but you can definitely cook them up to get rid of some of the fibrousness to them. But these little ones are great to eat on the trail or as you're out and about because they're an appetite suppressor. You know, it's not my favorite vegetable. And my favorite plant. It's definitely got a Real strong green flavor of bitterness to it once you get um, once you get get rid of the stick um, once they start getting older they get real bitter and they're kind of a cotton mouth taste thing but if you can get them young they're actually really good and they're uh, appetite suppressor um, so not only is it a great cordage great food source appetite suppressor um, you can actually use the vineage for basketry material, and on some grapevine, it's not as common as people probably would think, but you can actually tap the grapevine and get water from it. Um, I don't have a lot of success with it, but I have gotten water out of grapevine before. Um, but So those are some of the uses for the grapevine. Like I said, it is a real viney plant that uh, grows up the trees, and uh, it's got the jagged heart-shaped leaves jagged heart-shaped leaves 
and uh, it just grows in abundance and usually in the summertime you can begin to see these fruit they'll start off as like a red don't eat them when they're red wait till they turn this blackish purplish then they're prime ready to go as soon as they're they'll fall off the tree easily you know you're in the money for muscadines and there's some monster ones on this thing so I can't wait to eat them what I'm planning on doing though is so that this is a re renewable resource that I don't have to pull out of a tree every time is my goal is to wrap these grapevine here around these two trees um, this one here and that one down there and I'll wrap them horizontal so that way I don't have to pull it out of the tree next year it'll just continue to grow and it will grow up the tree some um, but I'll be able to harvest the muscadines a lot easier so anyways well guys thanks again for tuning in to another episode as always be sure to check out our website trailblazersurvival.com and uh, find me on Facebook facebook.com slash trailblazersurvival and facebook.com slash dirt time adventures and stay tuned next week we'll have another foragers fine plant and we should have our wiki up video posted and ready to go and so get outside look for you some grapevine and get you a muscadine till next time guys keep it practical primitive and prepared <laughs>